Welcome to Bendigo Art Gallery's Historic Courts. My name's Emma bazowski cox I'm one of the curators here. Bendigo Art Gallery was founded in the late 1880s and distinguished Bendigo architect William Charles Varland supervised the conversion of the Volunteer Rifle Brigades Room on View Street into a home for the gallery's collection. The revamped gallery occupied just a single room exhibition space, the building now known as Bolton Court. Over the years, the gallery has evolved through a series of extensions and redevelopments to its current form, and it retains three splendid historic courts. These galleries were designed in the grand European tradition, with polished wood floors, ornate plaster arches, and diffused natural skylighting. Over the years, the walls of the historic courts have been painted different colours. This light blue-green was an interior colour choice for the wealthier families of the goldfields. Blue was considered synonymous with opulence and wealth and provided an uplifting backdrop to the dark timber of Victorian furniture and the gold frames of the paintings of the period. Simple painted wall treatments came into vogue in the late 19th century and colours such as dove grey, pale blue and eau de nil or water of the Nile replaced highly patterned wallpapers in the homes of fashion conscious Victorians. So a carefully selected period colour such as this may enhance the heritage values of the gallery itself. The pale blue green offers up a greater breadth of possibilities for display as it is complementary to both works on paper from the colonial collection as well as modern paintings. Importantly, from a conservation point of view, the colour significantly lightens our gallery spaces without the need to increase our artificial lighting levels, which need to remain low. This, we feel, enhances the visitor viewing experience and aids the longevity of display for our historic collections. Bendigo Art Gallery's collection has significant holdings of European and Australian art from the 19th century. The most significant professional art institutions in Europe in the 19th century were the Royal Academies of Art in France and England. These were schools of instruction and held annual exhibitions where selected artists from the academies could display their work and hopefully invite patronage. Paintings were presented in these exhibitions en masse, in double and triple hangs, often right up to the ceiling. Conversely, these heavily sanctioned exhibitions also provided an opportunity for artists to promote avant-garde ideas in deliberately challenging this monopoly of views on art. The French Impressionists, for example, were seen as radical in exhibiting at independent exhibition venues, promoting their style of painting that was initially criticised for being an impression only. We hope you've enjoyed this preview into our collections and our beautifully restored historic courts.